Um, yeah, it's a big part of the film, but there's a great love story in it and, and um, betrayals and Toby Kevill in pajamas. He started hugging the cushion when he said the love story, don't you? Well, how there's a love time, story though? and... Uh, yeah. What's up, Young Hollywood? I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting on the couch now with Travis Fimmel and Toby Kebbell, stars of the epic Warcraft movie. What's up, guys? Hello, how are you? So, there's a lot of ass kicking in this movie. Yeah, it's a big part of the film, but there's a great love story in it. And and um, betrayals and Toby Kebbell in pajamas. He started hugging the cushion when he said the love story. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a appetite, love story man. and... Uh, You're a lover, not a fighter. He is, he's both. We're trying to protect our people, our families. If you help us, I give you my oath. It's a much richer story than just the basic yeah. goodies and baddies. You know? It's kind of two races fighting for the one world. Mm. This movie is based off of the Warcraft game. That's right. Which means you've got serious fans. Mm -hmm. Have you had any interactions with some Warcraft fans? I've had pleasant interactions so far. Everything Comic Con and BlizzCon, they have their own. I mean, uh, Blizzard is such a massive company now. With the games they make, they've got two enormous games, a bunch of games, but they two of their biggest, and uh, Warcraft's one of them. And we all we were there at uh, BlizzCon to announce the, the movie coming out, and they're all just loving people. We had a guy from Brazil. Do you remember that chap from Brazil? He came Passion. dressed. He was big. He was hench. He was a big dude. Came with the tusks. He'd made his own. Oh, wow. Yeah. I couldn't stop looking at his nipples. <laughs> And that's Travis. Speaking of which, what your characters look like, I mean, you've got the whole beard situation going on, but you're hideous oh, in the film. Yeah, in real life too. So what were the costumes like for that? So my character's motion capture, which is basically, I do all the motion for this incredible model that these artists, tireless hours, making. And so doing all the motion, creating Duratan, have his movements. When I blink, Duratan blinks. And once that model is created, that goes into the telling of the story. So that's Duratan. It's fancy computer stuff. It's fancy computer stuff, yeah. We have to talk a little bit about your beard situation because with, with every character that you play, you've got a hair thing going on. I don't know, I, I had a beard for a fair while now because of Vikings, but uh, we'd shot this between Vikings. Yeah. And I can't grow a beard that quick, so I had to do it. So, and you've had yeah. extensions for that character, though. The last year of Vikings, yeah. I had some extensions, yeah. Yeah, my hair was, uh, I got a lot of gel in my hair today. But, uh, Looks good, but I, I like it. Thanks, but I hate wearing gel in my hair. <laughs> now, Toby, you sometimes play the villain. Yes. Is it better to play the nice guy or the bad guy? It depends. I mean, I'm lucky on this one, because Duratan's a nice guy. Give it a cuddle, mate. Give it a little cuddle. Um, Duratan's a nice guy, so it's rare that you get a hero that's, that's rich enough to have something interesting going on. And so usually the villain is the richer character. You know, he, he gets to do, how old are you? Debauchery and Skullduggery, 33. It's not young Hollywood. I'm 36. I don't know if this is young Hollywood. Yeah, we might get found out on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I like that you're admitting your, young. your ages on camera. Yeah, there's no way around it now. Yeah. You know. You're the young in this. You're <laughs> the young, yeah. <laughs> So you play these awesome character roles, but do you guys either have a, a role you'd wish to play? I'd like to play a cowboy. Yeah, I think that's every kid's. A cowboy? Yeah. Every, How come? Why is that every, I feel like every boy actually wants to play a cowboy. Well, you ride horses, so technically yeah. you've played a cowboy in real life. Yeah, but I'd that's love the to know a cowboy. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. It is. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's ridden a horse. I've ridden a horse. I was in War Horse. I mean, I, you, know, you can't just say. Horse? Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. I rescued the horse from No Man's Land. Yeah. That was you. Yeah, I had a joy. Does that character. make you respect ah, him more? No, he wasn't very good in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you're awesome. Really? Yeah. I watched it on the plane. Horses and, can't be the definition of being a cowboy. You got a, I own a horse. Okay. Uh, what? He won up, so what's your next Boom. one up? I own a cowboy shirt. Okay. Cowboy, like I mean, Dallas Cowboys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the Dallas Cowboys. So you grew up on a dairy farm. You've been said to, uh, if you make enough money, you'd leave Hollywood and go back to the farm. Yeah, for sure, yeah. I'm not uh, not putting makeup and gel on for, for nothing. <laughs> you want to grow old with the cows and your horses? Yeah, for sure. No, I love the country. Um, I'm a country boy, so I like that. And you, Toby, what do you want to do when you're I'm older? from the country too, yeah. I don't own horses yet, so obviously one of us is doing better than the other. But... <laughs> Your life growing up was pretty crazy, though. You were one of five, right? That's right, yeah, good knowledge. What was the house like? It was... Uh... <laughs> Loud? 
It was loud, yeah. I Did you put on neighbors. plays? We didn't put on plays. No, we weren't like. Didn't the, put on plays? God, I feel like that's you. Like you have a full team there. there. Yeah, I was. Listen, I was. A, I was born Catholic. I lived across from the church. I literally lived directly across from the Catholic church, and we used to do like nativity plays. You know, the nativity play of. And I didn't, I constantly was trying to, I couldn't play Joseph. Joseph was played by Matthew Woolgar and Stacey Holland, who was the prettiest girl in class. Stacey Holland gets to play Mary. So I was, of course, everyone wants to be Joseph. I didn't even get to be innkeeper number two, who shows them to the, the nice room where they have the baby. I was innkeeper number one. What? Which says, like, his line is, sorry, we haven't any room. So I, you know, I just said no. When Such they, a waste of talent. Such a waste of talent, Travis. I know, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? All right. I got to ask you guys, because you're from Australia, you're from England, mm -hmm. you kind of have that little thing going on with the rugby teams, mm -hmm. which is better, England or Australia, with a few questions here. So, <laughs> England or Australia in terms of food? England. Australia for sure. This oh, is actually, by the way, yeah, by the way, actually, Australia is yeah. pretty good for food, to be Thanks. fair. What it are we talking about go. in terms of Thanks. food? So this is going to be probably Tucker <laughs> food. Yeah, we're not talking about Tucker food, are we? We're not talking about bush food. No, Australia is, is very fresh. It is, it is. And they get a lot of good produce from New Zealand. Okay. Thanks. England or Australia in terms of drinking? Who can Ooh. tolerate their drink? However you want to they slice that. They start earlier, England. I feel. England. We have bigger weekends. You do. You're, you're party. You're more party people. We drink just out of the cold. The I used to work in a room, right? yeah. I worked in a pub in London, and the boys at every lunchtime, everybody's yeah. drinking. Yeah. So I'll give you that. You got the daytime drink. England or Australia? Comedic chops. Who's uh, funnier? Definitely Australian. Definitely not me, but definitely Australian. I tell you what. Yeah, I've heard some funny Australians. They are funny people. Thank you. He said Australian. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> England or Australia? Weather. Australia. Yeah, but we need some rain. You would, it'd be good to have some mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but by far. England or Australia in terms of tourists? England. Who's a better tourist? Who's a better tourist? Yeah, I mean, everyone says that Americans England. are so rude. By far, England. But everybody says, oh, they get on with us. Yeah, we do. They do get on with us. It's, it's, like it's, it's a portion yeah. of time, I think. Um, I like Australians. I'm not sure, but everybody tells me Australian. All right, guys, thanks for playing. Thanks for coming to Young Pleasure. Hollywood Thank and stopping you, by. Thank, Thank you, guys. Watch Warcraft.